Hey puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to play some logic puzzles. This one is known as a Seguro, also known as number blocks. The goal here is to fill in every cell such that each region contains the digits 1 through n, with n being the size of the region. So if you have a four cell region, you're going to be putting in the digits 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so forth. Cells of the same digit cannot be repeated next to each other, uh, not even diagonally. So that's it for the rules. What I'm going to go ahead and do is try to solve this puzzle for you guys, sharing some common tips and tricks along the way that will hopefully make it easier for you to solve this type of puzzle yourself in the future. Now I've pulled this particular puzzle from a recently published book on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description below. Would love it if you guys would check it out. But uh, without further ado, let's get to solving. So with these types of uh, puzzles, I think the... Um, Best tip is just to figure out which digits are missing and know where they cannot go. Uh, so for instance, if we look at, um, see where would I start here? Here, right in the middle, this is a four celled region, so we need the numbers one, two, three, and four. Well, this can't be a three, there's a three right below it. So the threes cannot be adjacent to one another. So that's a three, making that a two. Now we know this can't be a two. This is going to be one, two, three, four, as it's a four-celled region. But this can't be a two. That's diagonal to this two. So that must be the two, making that the four. Here we're missing a one and five in this seven-celled region. This can't be a one. There's a one above it. So that makes that the one and that the five. Um, here, where does a one go in this L-shaped region? Well, it can't go here or here. That's both adjacent to this one. So that must be the one. We already have a two, but we need a three. Three can't go there. That's diagonal to that three. So that forces a three in that cell, making that the four. Um, from there, well, this is a one cell region here in the corner. So that's easy. That's a one. Uh, and then where does the one go in this tetromino? Well, it can't go here or here. That's next to this one. So that forces a one there. This bottom cell can't be a 4 since it's a 4 uh, diagonally next to it. So that's a 4, making this the 2. Um, here, looks like we're just missing two cells in the 6-cell region. We need a 3 and a 6. Well, this cell's next to the 3 there, so that forces the 3 down here, making that the 6. We have another 6-cell region right next to it, and so guess what? Where does the 6 go? Can't go there must go there because again you can't have digits of the same type diagonal to net to one another so there's no four in this uh, region so four must go there and we're making good progress um, I think I'm just kind of bouncing around with these types of puzzles sometimes there's um, you know a logical path but in this case just kind of bouncing around uh, at the, for the time being we have a uh, pentomino here in the middle, a five cell region. Five can't go there or there because it's next to this five. So that forces a five there. Now we're missing a two and a three, but I don't think we can quite figure that one out yet. Um, sometimes on the harder puzzles, uh, or we might run into the problem later where you're gonna have to do a deduction by, by looking at negatives. Meaning, you know, let's say for instance, if you put a two there, you know, it blocks these two cells from being a two. And you might say, oh, well, that's not possible because there has to be a two in one of those because there's a two missing. But, you know, in this case, that's that's not the, the situation. But you can see how this puzzle could get harder. Um, but I think this is a relatively easy one. But as soon as I say that, I'm, I'm getting stuck here. Oh, four. Where does a four go in this seven cell region? This four blocks those two cells. And this four blocks that cell, so four must go there. Now we need a five. This five blocks those two cells, so the five goes down there. All we're missing is a one and a three. This three is diagonal to that cell, so that forces that to be a three and that to be the one. Um, <laughs> let's see, from this one cancels that one and this one cancels a lot it cancels this one and then the two diagonals from it so that must be a one and then 
uh, fours, this four cancels those two cells and this four cancels that cell. So this must be the four. This three cancels that one, but I think that's, oh, and this three cancels that one. So the diagonals are taken care of, so this is the three in the middle, which means this one can't be in the three in the pentomino that we talked about earlier. So that's the three and that's the two. Um, this shape here, the seven cell, we're missing a two and a five. Well, these fives cancel that one. So that can't be a five, that must be the two, making that the five. And from there, this is a two and a three pair, but not quite sure if that's going to be helpful at the moment. Um, this is a one, two, it's a small region, and there's a two already there. So that's a one, making that the two. This two blocks that one, so there's a two going to be in one of those, but this bottom one is blocked by the two below it, so that's a two. And this is a seven cell region. We're missing a seven and a five. Well, this seven here makes that having to be a five, and that's the seven. This one cancels those two. We need a one in this uh, seven cell region. So this must be the one. We're missing now a three and a six. This six here makes that no longer possible to be a six. So that's the six, that's the three. At this point, uh, this one cancels that one, this one cancels that one. So we know there's going to be a one in one of those. Um, again, some of the other strategies you could use in a harder puzzle, which I, I, unfortunately I don't think this is a very hard one, so it perhaps is not the best example to show you guys some different strategies. But you could, like in Sudoku, use pairs. If you said, oh, I know that these two numbers have to be uh, a one and uh, I would say four, I don't know which one's which, but I know a one and four goes there. That's a pair. So then these two other cells must be two other numbers also creating a pair. If you've done Sudokus, you'll you'll be familiar with that strategy. But um, let's keep going forward. Here we're missing quite a bit. Um, a four blocks those, but that's it. This three blocks all of those cells. And this three blocks that one. So the three gets squeezed over here. Uh, we're missing a four and a seven and a six. Oh, sixes. That six blocks that and that. So we know a six is going to go in one of those. And hmm. I don't know, let's go somewhere else. This two blocks those. Um, it's not helpful. Three blocks that. Now, let's look at this region. This one blocks those two. So we know one's going to go on one of those. Oh, I'm sorry. I, my child's screaming in the background. I'm going to have to pause this. Hold on one second. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry I had to take a little bit of a break, so I'll be honest, I don't remember where I left off, so um, I'm just going to start looking again. But I think one of the things I was saying was, <clears throat> this is an easier puzzle, but in the harder ones, you might have to use some negative constraints uh, to move forward. So, like, for instance, if you look at this square here, you know this cannot be a 2, because that would mean all of these could not be 2s. And this cell also couldn't be a 2 because of that 2. And there would be no place in this region for a 2 to go. So you would know that that can't be a 2. Um, you would only use that kind of technique, uh, again, if you were kind of stuck. Same thing here. You would know this couldn't be a 2 or 3 because then you wouldn't be able to fill this region up here for the same reason. But um, what I did notice in this region here just now is where does the five go? This five blocks all three of those cells, and this five blocks that cell, so five must go there. And um, 
this one blocks those, forcing a one to go over here. And we can just put a little smaller font um, pencil mark knowing that a one goes there. No matter what, that where, wherever that one is, we know this can't be a one. We know this cell can't be a one because of that one. And this cell can't be a one because of this one. So this here has to be a one. And now we're missing uh, a two, three, and four. Well, this three blocks those two. So the three has to go there. Now we're missing a four, which can't go in this cell because of that four. So this is a four. And this is the two. All right. So now this cell or this region, we're missing a two, three, and two, three, four, and seven. Well, this can't be a three. This can't be a, well, I don't think we're going very far there. Let's look at this region. So we're missing a one and a two. We've already established a one's gonna be over there. We've established this can't be a two. We need uh, a four. And the four can't go here because of this four. The four can't go there because of that four. So that must be the four there. Now we're missing a two, five, and one. One, two, five. Five can't go here because of that five. Five can't go there because of that five. So that leaves this to be a five and that the one. So we can make that no longer pencil marks. And so this must be the two, which pushes the two over here because now this cell can't be the two. So that's the two, that's the three. And where does the four now go here? This four blocks those two. And this one can't be a four because of that one diagonal to it. So that's a four and uh, a two. This two blocks that one and this two blocks that one. So this must be the two. And now we need a three, um, two, three, four, and a seven, three and seven. So let's pencil mark those. And we can come back to it. And down here is the last region we're missing. We need a one, one can't go there. So one's gonna go there in those three, that's not very helpful. Four, four can't go here or here or there because of the, these fours here are diagonal from all those squares. So this is the four. A six, well six can't go here because of this six. And a six can't go here because of that six. So this leaves the only square available for the six. This can't be the one, so that's the one. And now we need the seven. Um, and I thought that was it, but I forgot we haven't solved these here. Did I do something wrong? Am I missing something? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three and seven. Okay, apologies. I had to pause the video uh, and look to see if I made a mistake somewhere because I was going through this video and I thought, you know, I don't think I made a mistake. And I realized after looking back at the original puzzle, this number here was actually given. So this is a seven and it has to be given to you because again, otherwise there would be two possible solutions for this puzzle and in order for a logic puzzle to be good and solvable is there should be one unique solution, uh, not more than one. Because if this were the case, you you know, it'd be a 50-50 chance that you get it right or, or wrong. Uh, so this actually is a seven and it's given to you. Uh, so we know then if this is if this cell is given, we know that this has to be the three then. And so I will fill that in. And there you go. Um, sorry if any of you tried to do this puzzle before watching the video, um, but that is how you solve it. Um, I think these number block puzzles are pretty easy. Even the harder ones where 
you have to use some negative constraints to solve it. I still find them to be a, a, a tad easy, but uh, they're fun. I think, um, you know, if you enjoy doing logic puzzles, but you don't exactly like the uh, brain workout of the super tough ones, these these are nice. I mean, they're relaxing. They're, they're pretty easy going, but hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.